name's Andy. I recently went on a 10 day trip around Wales, Snowdonia and Anglesey in my camper van called Pepper. This is the first time I've been out in the van for such a long time and I learned many things about the van life experience. In the following 10 part series, you can follow me and Pepper in the hills, the valleys and the peaks to see whether we enjoyed the experience. Welcome to a little adventure that me and Pepper are going to go on. We're going to do the piggy's mouth all the way around Wales. Top to bottom, tip to tail, and then we'll probably end up home. Now, many people strive for that van life. They want that van life experience. So we're going to head off for between 8 to 11 days. Packs are all up. I've smashed the box up at the top, the roof box, but we'll talk about that another time. So we're going to be heading around and doing the coastal way. Can you survive? How do you go on with clothing? How do you go on with washing your clothes, or personal hygiene? What does it actually feel like for somebody who's only used to really going off on a weekend and not doing f a full time like this? Almost two weeks. Well, me and Pepper are going to find out and I hope you enjoy the journey with us. So we've filled up with fuel, we've been ripped off, I'm shanked. It's time now to head over to the west coast, West Said, Let's go for a little adventure. I'm going to start, I'm going to head towards Hollywell, which is kind of like the top of North Wales. And from there, well, I will either do a park for night or I'll try and find a campsite. Most of them are actually booked up, but part of the adventure is just getting out there and enjoying it. Fitted it myself, like a boss, like you do. Thought nothing of it, I thought well I'm not going to fill it up before I'm actually ready to go. Set off to work in the morning, went to the train station. <laughs> Forgot I had the roof box on. Boom! <laughs> Van jolts up, I'm like oh my god. I forgot I had the roof box on. Numb nuts here, it completely crushed the top of the roof box. Ah, oh, I thought that's just brilliant, isn't it? A 400 quid roof box. Knackered before we've even set off. Well, anyway, my mate Steve, who fixes most things on the van when I break some up, we got a heat gun, turned it upside down, and I stomped on it. Uh, that was the only way we could actually get it to come out. I just don't have any luck at all. So we're at Chester Services right now, having a little cheeky break. How much? What a piss take. How much is a bottle of water? Two quid. Got you like bollocks, haven't they? They really are. <sighs> Seven quid. <clears throat> well, actually, it was eight quid. Was it eight quid? I don't know, something like that. Can of water and a sandwich. Uh, why don't they just castrate you while you're at, while you're at the till? Tell you what, this van life, we're going to have to start saving some pennies. And one of the things that worries me about this little trip is. I don't want to get more slim and trim as I am. You know, the ladies are all over me as it is. ka -ching! No, they're not. Juicy Lucy, you know what I'm saying. I don't want to lose more weight and, and looking after myself health-wise, food-wise, is something that I think I'm going to have to really concentrate and I want to eat well. I don't want to be eating garbage. So I'll probably end up at the, the odd little pub lunch or something like that outside at least once a day so you've got a decent meal in you. Because these processed meals, they're not the best, are they? And obviously going to the toilet as well, that's another one. Obviously, as a man, I can water the plants any time, but if you want a Douglas, Douglas Erd, then obviously you've got to take other matters into your hands, haven't you? I don't want to put that in my hands. Let's go, Pepper. Let's go. Not bad little kettle, that really. It was uh, 12 quid or something like that. Mobile said, renowned for being expensive. You're gonna HAV to be selective where you eat. X. Just been through cold 
Conwyn Bay, Colwyn Bay, sorry. And I thought, you know what, I'm going to keep on going until we get towards Landudno. Um, that's not actually the start of this coastal trip that I'm going to be doing, but I might just have a little break on the way down. I've got 10, 11 days. There's absolutely no rush at all to be getting anywhere. Pretty close to the coast here, actually. Literally right next to it. But yeah, we might go to Landudno now. Landudno, have a little look around. See if there's anywhere to wild camp, as it were, in the van. And have a little chillax. Right, well, of course, it being Saturday, there's going to be bugger all places to park. Uh, yeah, extremely busy. Reminds me of one of those, um, carry on campers. It reminds me of one of those places, carry on campers, uh, carry on whatever. It's got that vibe about it when you actually go through the town, but it's quite beautiful up on the tops there. Well, the sat nav wanted to take me to literally middle of nowhere down there, basically Land's End, but down a tiny, tiny little road. And we ain't going down there. Me and Pepper are not getting stuck in the middle of nowhere, especially when you've got no phone reception. But I don't know where I am, kind of. Who cares? We're on holiday, as long as we don't break down. No phone reception, you can't ring for help. But it's certainly beautiful. Some of the valleys that we've been through have been amazing but I noticed there's a lot more camper vans were parked down there on that side so that's where we're going to go because the safety in numbers and you know that they probably know the better place to park so come on Pepper let's get going <sighs> out into the yonder things for sure that you can say when you're driving through all these Welsh towns is that they are so patriotic. There's so many Welsh flags in all the gardens, some of them have got flagpoles up, they're all over the shops, there is bunting, there is everything, they're really patriotic and I love that. I am a red-blooded Yorkshireman but I'm also very very patriotic when it comes to being English. Sheep. So that's where I've pulled into here because the other place was taking me into the middle of blooming nowhere. And it's actually really quiet here at this location. So we'll be quiet tonight, no death call. And there is a beautiful village that we're going to have a look in the next five, ten minutes here on the video. So there's Pepper all packed up. I'm going to show you a little thing now that some of my mates are probably going to want to get at some point. One, this came with the van. I only put this on if we're on a campsite. I will never put that on if I'm wild camping. Because if you need to get away, you can't because this is the on the outside. So it makes the van inside darker and cooler as you can see there but when i pack up i actually use this here this little spirit level now that's just off actually so it means that the van is slightly tilting if it was tilting this way you don't want to have all the blood rushing to your head so you would sleep the other way so there you go there's a little tip there's tip number one when it comes to van life and i don't mind telling you it's absolutely red hot i've got me dogs trust three sponsor dogs She's been absolutely perfect today and we will talk about later, probably when we go down for something to eat, I'll tell you about what the issues were with the van and how in the end we actually fixed it. Well, not I fixed it, somebody else fixed it, but she's been superb today and we've done over 250 miles. Sleep in the breeze. And apparently Barmouth or Barmouth, I don't know how to pronounce it in Welsh, but anyway, apparently that's the next one to go to. So that's probably where we're going to go tomorrow. And it doesn't look as blue. Obviously, I've got it in the boulder. It doesn't look as blue as that, she said. It's nothing like that. But that's a nice place. Look at that. The soot boarding. So I think that is where we're going to go tomorrow. I can't remember all the things that you had said But stories come to me when I'm alone in bed You never call when I get letters all the time I see your signature whenever I get out of line A shocking twist of undecided energy A mix of all betwixt and apprehensive you and me You never call when I hear stories all the time You never call when I hear stories all the time I never knew if I could 
burnt it, you fool. Night setup for me is actually quite quite a simple process really. I don't think you really need to overcomplicate anything if you're gonna come out and stay in your camper van. Don't pepper look good. Come on. Don't she look good? <laughs> so if we're on a campsite like this, you don't really need to worry about security otherwise I would never put this on the outside it goes around the outside like that it keeps the heat in and it stops the heat during the day actually getting in your van and making it red hot on the inside quite a simple procedure obviously the bed down there you just get that light on you can see this is a double mattress from go outdoors um, I like to be warm if it's too hot sleep on top of it underneath we have got a bit of a mark on there. We've got a panda mattress topper, which is brilliant. I wouldn't, I wouldn't expect you to try and sleep on one of these seats without a mattress topper, without having to need a chiropractor like I did last time. <laughs> In the back here, I have one pillow, and as you can see, that's the lining on, on the inside of this. It's absolutely toasty absolutely toasty so that is the procedure usually when i roll this up that goes down there because that's kind of redundant under there i've got step ladders for getting that actually onto the back so milky goodness on a night time when it's super super cool we shut this larry grayson shut that door we shut these and i literally just leave it like that it keeps it nice and cool on a night time it gets really cold even though it's really hot during the day and that's it now, side window, I lay this open a little bit. If we're in a bug infested area, then I've got a zigzag. I should have showed you it really. It fits in that window, it's a zigzag and it's a mesh screen and it stops all the bugs and the midges getting in. And under that one today, I've actually got the window slightly down even though these cover it up. So that's it really. Completely different. I might show you my procedure and set up when I'm doing a wild camp out in the middle of nowhere. But this definitely, definitely will not be on. But it means that the cab in the night time is dark. And that's what you want because it's really hard to sleep in, a, in one of these vans. Because it gets really bright at about 4 or 5 o'clock in the morning. And that's, well, that's basically it. Obviously where I have power down here, which is my kill switch engage. And I've got all my gubbins down here, 240. I've got USB and all that malarkey. That tells me how much I've got left in the leisure battery. And up there I've got another control panel which I haven't got switched on now on the dispacker, which obviously we won't be using uh, this time. Always, always have a CO2 checker. Please, people. It's really important, especially if you get a gas leak or anything like that, monoxide, you want to be safe. And I'm super juicy, so I've got one of those, and I've also got a lot of smidge and other little bits because I have been absolutely bitten to death. In fact, I'm on... Um, I'm on a cocktail of drugs at the minute because my bike's got really infected when I went on pedal boarding on the canal. There you go, we live and we learn. You go on the river, no bother. I thought, what bother putting any smidge on? I'm just juicy, what can I say? But anyway, that's Pepper. That's the night set up. I shall see you in the morning while well, we're off to Abarmouth Bridge. Hope you enjoyed that little look round. Nothing too exciting. There you go. What do you want for three? What do you want? It makes life so much easier when you know where everything is. It'll actually get on your nerves if you don't do it. Let me know whether you organise everything in the same place at the same time. Routine, routine, routine. If, if you're in a camper van now, and I was about to say to you, where's your laptop? You should be able to say, I know exactly where that laptop is, I know exactly which shelf it's in, or where I, which compartment, or where I've hidden it. Where's your toothbrush? It makes life so much easier. Honestly, it really does. Beautiful little port village down there. And it's great when tractors go past. It's great when the locals are all speaking Welsh. I know we're in Wales before you say something amusing, but you know what I mean. It's great to hear that strong dialect when you're walking through town and everyone's super friendly. I hope you've made it this far. Plenty more to come. This is day one. This is basically just the start of the coastal trip. I shall see you in some more van life videos coming real soon. Me and Pepper on the road. Yeah, bye-bye. See you in part two.